Hey everybody, this is your girl Tatarika here, and right now I'm about to react to the top 10 amazing Jackie Chan fights. This video was requested by my boy Tim, so shout out to you. And I'll leave the original video link in the description because this is on watchmojo.com. So, and I know on the last Jackie Chan video, I kept saying he was ripped to pay. He's from China. My bad. Okay? This, it is what it is. But anyway, let's get into this and let's go. Number 10. Jackie Chan versus Donnie Yen. Shanghai Knights. Hi, nice. Fuck him up. Who could possibly hold their own against Jackie? Well, the star of the Ip Man series might be a safe bet. In this uproarious comedy sequel, Jackie returns to the role of Chan John Wayne Wang, who finds himself trading blows with Donnie Yen's villainous Wu Chao as he tries to prevent the British royal family from being assassinated. Of course, this isn't your average brawl between two master martial artists, since the pair has to avoid being mowed down by a machine gun as they duke it out. Number 9. On the Ropes, Miracles. <laughs> That's more like it. I hate cheating. <laughs> Even in the director's chair, Jackie doesn't hesitate to throw himself into the fray when it comes to wild fight scenes. In this Hong Kong variation of Frank Capra's Lady for a Day, Jackie takes on the role of a kind-hearted individual who finds himself in no, the awkward YouTube, position fucking as me up. leader Stop of it. the right now. gang. Coming into conflict with a rival boss, Ugh, Jackie they fuck ends me up. up. I can't even enjoy this right now. Well, fuck me up. Y'all will need to be driving nowhere. Shit. People get on my nerves. But anyway, man, I wish the damn spicy scene was like this in fucking America. Cause fuck in China, Jackie took like he takes months to do like a fight scene right. Down here in America, probably like two hours and a lot of CGI. But it is what it is. Okay, are y'all gone now? Continue. Having to take out an entire swarm of goons inside a rope factory. There he is. Come on. As you can guess, the rope work is damn impressive, made all the better by the fight's comedic edge. Don't jump! <laughs> told you not to jump. Number 8. Jackie Chan versus Brad Allen. Gorgeous. Rules? No rules. Look his ass, Jackie. Because he looked like a douchebag. No the course of true love never did run smooth. But when Jackie's involved, you can expect there to be some kind of fight added to the mix. After becoming smitten with a gorgeous woman named Boo, their whirlwind romance is interrupted by a rival businessman who becomes so determined to take Jackie well, they out real shit. some extra muscle, played by Australian martial artist Brad Allen, to take him down a peg. Oh shit. Jackie, you better... Try not to blink. Otherwise, you'll miss the flurry of fists and comedic dance that takes place. I'm trying my hardest not to blink. I can't. I gotta blink. Number seven. Don't break the artifacts. Rush hour. Who would have guessed that all Jackie needed to smash into mainstream Hollywood is his usual brand of action choreography and Chris Tucker. While at a Chinese art exhibition, it's already mainstream. What the fuck is you talking about? Himself not only having to take out multiple thugs, but also ensuring that the exhibits don't end up destroyed, which is pretty tricky when you're getting the crap kicked out of you. Yeah, that was fucked up. The only thing more priceless than the artifacts on display is the look on Jackie's face when one of them gets blown to bits. Number six, environment takedown. Rumble in the Bronx. You are all garbage. This is the film that gave the West their first real look at the awesomeness that is Jackie Chan. It may have been long overdue, but it's certainly it's made an impression was. with audiences. With one hell of a fight My cousin scene, tried to do them fucking moves, and he literally fall on his ass every time when he was younger. That shit was funny. Members. Jackie's Hong Kong cop shows them why he's not to be messed with, as he takes down the villainous Tony and his cronies single-handedly. That's right. Fuck him up. Bitch. Not only does he get to show off his martial arts prowess, 
He also uses everything from tables and chairs to shopping carts and even a fridge to his advantage. Number five, the latter, police story four, first strike. Call the cops, please wait. One of Jackie's longest running series has no shortage of epic moments. And while the playground fight from Police Story 2 is all well and good, there's just no comparison Damn! to the now legendary fight scene in which the Chan Man takes a ladder and turns it into a lethal weapon. Even the plot, which what involves WWE, nuclear warheads and a shark, pales in comparison to Jackie artfully wielding a ladder and taking down a room full of triads in the process. Bitch. This goes to show that you can give this guy anything, and he'll find a way to make it an exquisite source of pain for his foes. Alan, brother, he didn't kill our father. Number four, Jackie Chan versus Benny Yorkides, Wheels on Meals. <laughs> If there is one man who could give Jackie a run for his money, even back in his prime, it was Benny the Jet Yakidez. Playing a fast food truck owner with some serious skills when it comes to martial arts, Jackie finds himself once again caught up in a criminal syndicate's activities, eventually leading to a confrontation with Jackie, the Jet no, no. himself. You're ready. In a full-on East versus West showdown, these two Damn. masters of their craft prove what they're made of. That's a Jackie. With a castle Fuck him up, Jackie! Round, and he keep pulling hair! The impact of that's a bitch move! That's doled out. Bon appetit. Bitch! Bitch! Number three, Jackie Chan versus Benny Yorkides, round two. Dragons forever. We get to see Jackie and the Jet duke it out again. This time, Chan is playing a lawyer hired by a chemical company to try and discredit a local fishery, claiming they're polluting the water. Jackie's investigation soon leads him to take the law into his own hands when he finds himself the target of a narcotics kingpin. As you might have guessed, the villain's main henchman is played by Benny, who really gets a chance to shine as he takes on both Jackie boy. and fellow martial artist Duck extraordinaire Sam. Oh. Guess you just can't beat the jet when it comes to playing minions. Bitch. Number two, the mall police story. Woo! The stunt work in this scene alone is a sight to behold. Trapped in a mall, hunted down by a slew of goons, Jackie goes full on super cop and not only takes each of them out, but also manages to destroy most of the store in the process. Okay, I'm just gonna say Y'all know that shit had hurt. The escalator thing, I ain't gonna lie, that's my biggest fucking fear. Like, I trip and then all of a sudden I'm in between the fucking things and then all of a sudden I die. But I know that that shit had to hurt. Me as a big girl, gravity is not on my fucking side. I would probably go through that fucking tile and into the basement. Probably all the way to the Earth's core, I'm just being honest. But jacket, jacket better than me. I tell you that much right now. He enemies into glass fixtures, running them over with a motorcycle. No, I will say, if he broke a jewelry case, I'm taking some fucking rings. Wrapped in light bulbs. I like jewelry. A lot of bones are broken, and we can all agree that the whole scene is an action masterpiece. Good day, because I'm talking shit to me, bitch. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some butt-kicking honorable mentions. <laughs> So the fuck they can't do no shit like this in America, bro? That was the nuts. I must look back at this. Yep, who am I? Sure, yep. Keep still. Number one, the fury of drunken boxing. Drunken Master 2. <laughs> now it's over. What 
would later become known as the legend of Drunken Master in North America. This film's final fight sequence is unrivaled when it comes to its choreography, resulting in a furious feast for the eyes as Jackie exchanges fists with two deadly henchmen inside a factory. While he manages to dispose of one easily, the other proves to be far too skilled for Jackie to handle. That is, until he ingests some industry alcohol. What follows is a demonstration of his drunken boxing at its best, as he goes full on beast mode. Oh, and real? This is why Sad. Jackie Chan is the man. Break his fucking back, Jackie! Do you agree with I want to do the back Check breaking out these other great on his ass. Like, and subscribe for new videos every day. Yeah, that was off the chain. Jack and just look. That's one thing Jack has always said he that he rather he did like making movies in China. I'm saying it right. Opposed to coming to North America because especially with action and fight scenes, it's so cut short. They don't take time to do it. Like I know like would definitely it took like four months for him to do it in one movie to do a scene because he wanted the scene to be so right and also, you know, it was very, you know, it's realistic. Fuck, he don't, you don't just fall through no shit like that and think like, oh, that's a stunt double. No. Okay, Jacket and broke literally probably every bone in his body except his neck. I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me on that. But, uh, I just wish they'd do some shit like that in America if you want me to be honest. That's fucked up. Yeah. But yeah, that what that seeing what he was in the mall breaking shit. Yeah, that I wouldn't even be that person. I'd be trying to help Jackie. I'd be that person taking shit out the out the the stores that he broke stuff in and the jewelry. It is what it is. But anyway, <laughs> so shout out to my boy Tim for re requesting this video. I hope you guys like the video. Subscribe to the channel and also leave me any video links or any comments. And I'll catch you guys for the next video. Later.